Ever wonder how to beat the Tampa 2 or Cover 2 defense in Madden 18? Well, today's video is going to show you guys some of the basic mechanics and ways to do that in your own system. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is something that I'm excited about because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be breaking down the basic mechanics of the game that will transfer year to year, and these are concepts and so we're going to teach you today how to attack a cover two, what to look for, how to read it, and that kind of thing. So uh, we're just going to put defensively cover two sync. And then what you want to do, it doesn't really matter what play or playbook or whatever. We're just going to work today out of uh, the formation I probably will run in Madden 18 is the shotgun bunch. So we're just going to work out of that today. And let's see, we can just pick, it, it really doesn't matter the play, but we're going to pick PA post. This is a play that I've used for years. Now, I want to show you how to do this with any play as well, so we'll go over that first. So the key thing with the cover two is a couple things. Number one, at the pre-snap screen, what you're going to see is these corners on the left side. They're going to be uh, in this type of a situation here. So if we audible to cover three, you see they're going to move a little bit. And oftentimes what will happen is they'll actually back up if I motion the far left receiver outside. If we went to man coverage, you see they're going to pinch in a little bit. They're going to be more in a man position. So when they're in zone, they're going to have outside leverage, outside positioning. If they're in man, they're going to have inside leverage, inside positioning. That's kind of the basic truism that you want to go off of. So whenever you see the cornerback lined up outside, that means it's probably zone coverage. And if you see two of the outside cornerbacks forward and they have two safeties deep, it's probably cover two. Now, this is a general truism. It's not always a hard rule. Um, so that's why you need to have route concepts and plays built in to help you. But anyways, what I want to do is show you what, what I would do. So uh, the basic concept is a streak and a underneath pattern. So I call it a, uh, a high-low read. So what Peyton Manning would do uh, when, he was, when he was in the NFL is he would do what's called a levels concept. And basically a levels concept looks something like this where the uh, X receiver is going to run deep and the far left receiver is going to come underneath it. What I like to do is a little bit more exaggerated. I like to streak Gabriel, uh, and the reason is because I just think it gets me better spacing. But the primary target, make no mistake, is this little underneath receiver right here, Jones. That's who you're going to hit. And it's just a quick little hit, a uh, quick little hitting play. And you can do it from anything. Um, you can do it from PA post. I think PA post is a little bit better because you get a post route instead of a streak route. I find post routes to be better. So what you'll see here is we're going to motion Jones out, and he's going to be, we actually like to put Tammy on a fade, and then I post motion that guy on the left side outside, and against cover two, what's going to happen is um, he's going to come right over the middle, right into this little area. He's going to be able to work for about 10 to 12 yards, okay? So that's, that's the basic way you want to beat the cover two. There's a couple of other things that you want to do. If you want to, you can do this concept. It's called a, uh, it's called a zone beating uh, standard. Basically what it is, is it's a streak combined with a corner route combined with a uh, flat route. So your reads is pretty simple. You're going to look to Tammy first. You're then going to look to your streak. And if that's not open, you're going to try to fit in the outside route right there. And this is what's going to happen. You'll find with most coverages, most, most uh, cover two defenses, the quick flat is normally open. Um, and, and what will happen, though, is you need something to pull him out. So I like to use, again, a corner route, a motion out corner route. So we'll just motion snap him, and you'll see that the guy's going to stay with him, and you're going to be able to hit Jacob Tammy for a quick gain, normally your tight end or whoever you have there. So it's basically what you want to do is you want to isolate one defender and do high-low reads off of that. So you can do it through the drag, um, or not drag, but in, in route and combina in combination with the streak route, wait for that in route to come across the middle, and make an easy easy completion or you can do um, corner route combined with an out route that's also and some people would refer to that as a bench concept but basically your tight end is going to be able to win almost every time and what's going to happen is they're going to be forced to play um, more of an aggressive style cover two where they try to take away your tight end route and what that will leave open is this deep corner route is going to be wide open as you see here and you're going to make some big plays. So, again, take it one step at a time. But with the cover two, the basic idea is you want to attack them uh, and by isolating one defender, one single defender. Uh, I think crossing routes work really well. I think levels works really well. Um, but the basic concept, again, 
for those of you guys that are new to Madden, the key here is just a simple in route combined with a streak route. That will help you beat 99% of cover two defenses in Madden 18. So uh, as you guys look to the next video, what I want to suggest to you guys is go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, that way you're going to get more content, more tips, more tricks for Madden 18, and ultimately it's going to help you become a better player. If you have advice, tips, or tactics you want to share, then please let me know, and we'll allow you to post a video on my channel for free uh, to as many followers as I have, which I think right now we're about 9,960 uh, YouTube subscribers. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know, but I'm more than happy to post your content, your playbook, your tips, your advice for the community. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you guys in the next video.